We've all been there, mixing a vocal track and wondering if we've made the right choices. But what if I told you there's a method to ensure that you are getting the best sound possible? Hey friend, today I'm going to share my personal A-B method for improving your vocal mixes. I've used this on hundreds of songs to get the best results I can for the artists I work with and I truly think that you're going to like it too. I know that this is going to help you and that this video will not waste a second of your time. So stick until the end so I can give you a special gift that will help tie everything together. The A-B method in five simple steps. Essentially, the A-B method is about mixing the same vocal in two different ways and then comparing them to select the best mix. Step one, vocal mix A. This is where you would mix the vocal as you would normally. Use your go-to plugins, EQ settings, and compression that you're comfortable with and that you'd use normally. Just mix the vocal as if you were, well, just doing your thing and mixing a vocal. Step two, take a break. It's essential to give your ears a short break at this point. It refreshes your perspective and makes sure that when you come back, you're listening with a clean palate. So in step two, stand up and stretch, go for a short walk or grab a coffee. Step three, vocal mix B. We're going to shake things up. Here's what to do. Duplicate your original dry unmixed vocal onto a new track. And now mix it again but do things a little bit differently. Maybe use a different compressor, which will bring out a different sound, a different analog style EQ that can bring in some new character. Switch up the order of your vocal chain a bit, or try some other effects that you didn't reach for the first time. The idea is to mix the vocal again with a different approach. Nice job. Now let's move on to step four. Step four, the A-B test. Once you've created the two different vocal mixes, it's time for the fun part, the A-B test. Play both mixes back and forth. Level match them and listen critically. Which one sits better in the mix? Which one conveys the emotion of the song and the attitude of the performance most effectively? Which just feels more right? Solo each vocal mix and listen to them back and forth on their own, and then listen to them in the mix as well. This is the A-B test. Step five, choose and finalize. Now that you've compared, it's time to decide. Choose the mix that resonated best with you and finalize it. Choose either mix A or choose mix B, and then take that mix and make any last few tweaks needed to make that mix the best it can be. Maybe there were a few things that you still liked about the other vocal mix that you can introduce a bit of, and make sure the vocal sits right in the song. Now, go ahead and finish the rest of your mix knowing that you nailed the vocal by leaving no stone unturned. And by using this Audio Edges A-B method, not only are you getting the best mix, but you're improving your mixing skills by broadening the techniques you're able to bring to every vocal mix. So give it a try and let me know how it works for you in the comments. Now this A-B method is really gonna help you improve in your mixes in addition to the number one way to improve, which I always say is to practice. Mix, mix, and mix some more. And sometimes I get asked, where do you get all these songs to practice? practice with. Well, my friend, if you're not working with that many artists yet on mixing and just need some tracks to practice with, I have something just for you. You can download Audio Edges Pro Tracks, a professionally recorded set of multi-tracks ready for mixing, completely free to download and compatible with any DAW. You can grab those tracks now at the link in the description and you can give this A-B method a shot right away by heading straight for the lead vocal track. So I'll see you over there and in the meantime, subscribe for more and happy mixing.